A tough turn for a Milwaukee youth program after its transit van was destroyed by a fire. Jessica Maduker shows us how they are getting by without a way to get kids where they need to go. This was seven months ago, a community van called the General, once used to transport teenage basketball players and scholars, engulfed in flames. We woke up to a knock at the door. Sir, your van is on fire. I went outside in disbelief. I thought it was a dream. But it wasn't. Dennis Gaynor had to figure out how he would be able to transport dozens of teens to productive outlets and out of trouble. We had transportation for our AAU travel basketball team. We also had travel for our um, work training program that was provided lawn services to our elderly, to our residents in our community, and also the mentoring piece. Their organization, Young Men on a Mission, serves close to 75 teens throughout the city. Good shot. Some of it was just like giving them something to do, stay out of trouble. We had a lot of memories in the van, uh, hours spent, talks, that's where the mentoring thing came from. The van got the name The General because of how it pridefully displayed the organization's core values. When we pulled up with this van, it, it signifies who we were. But now as it sits in the hands of insurance with no actual cause as to why this fire even occurred, this team of scholars and athletes with upcoming tournaments scheduled across the country That's a layout! are left in limbo. In our insurance policy, we didn't have anything that specified that a uh, fire inspector was supposed to come and it looked like the insurance company just took the cheaper route or the shorter route by just giving us blue book value. Hardly the amount needed to purchase a new van. We're at a dead end right now. The team has created a GoFundMe page to help in covering costs for their upcoming tournaments, as well as hopefully purchasing another van. In Milwaukee, Jessica Maduker, Team J4 News. And of course, if you want to help, you can find more information on this story at TMJ4.com.